I definitely can't do this. I'll never fit in here. I'll never just be ordinary. What's going on, Zoe? Are you okay? Hi everyone, welcome to the Reading Den with Shen, and I am Shen. Today, I'm going to read with you and your family an outstanding, inspirational book called I Am Extraordinary by Stephen Curry, who is an award-winning author and also an NBA champion. And today, I want to give a special shout-out to my friend, Bear Theakita, who is celebrating a birthday today. He is two years old. Wow! It was the first day at a new school for Zoe. She was a straight-A student who loved soccer. She practiced a lot at home, perfecting her solo skills. All summer, Zoe had dreamed about trying out for the school soccer team. But for as long as Zoe could remember, she was different. She was no ordinary kid. And all she ever wanted was to be ordinary, just like the other kids in school. Her brother Aaron tried to reassure her about the new school. I can't believe it's already the first day of school. You're going to love this place. But Zoe wasn't excited. Instead, she was nervous. That's because Zoe wore hearing aids to help her hear. She worried that the kids at the new school might not accept her for who she was, and she worried she wasn't good enough to make the team, especially if she couldn't hear as well as the others. These thoughts bounced around her head like balls in a pinball machine. Maybe if I cover my ears, no one will notice my hearing aids. The hearing aids stay in today, Zoe, and remember, you are extraordinary. Don't worry, stick with me and I'll show you the ropes. Aaron, a quick game. Let's play. I think I'll just sit this one out. Zoe wanted to play, but she worried she couldn't keep up. Zoe watched as the kids played soccer, wishing that she had the courage and confidence to play with them. Oh my goodness. This girl is so cool. I love everything about her. Her clothes, her shoes, her glasses. Be cool, Zoe. Be cool. Hey, you're Aaron's little sister, right? I'm Marley, and this is Myla and Brooklyn. Your brother says you're pretty good at soccer. Will we see you at tryouts? Um, I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure. Well, we could really use some new talent on the team. Zoe sat in class and listened to her teacher, but all she could think about was soccer. She wanted to try out for the school team, but she knew that on the field, She'd be more comfortable with her hair up. Everyone would be able to see her hearing aids. So she came up with an idea just before recess. Maybe if I can do this, if I take out my hearing aids, everything will be quiet, but I can just keep my eyes on the ball. At first, Zoe could keep up with some of the kids, but she quickly realized it was much more difficult than she thought. Zoe was so embarrassed, she ran off the field to be by herself. I definitely can't do this. I'll never fit in here. I'll never just be ordinary. What's going on, Zoe? Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just I'm supposed to be wearing hearing aids on the field. It's nothing to be embarrassed about, Zoe. Trust me. Have you seen the protective glasses I wear on the field? At first, I wouldn't dream of going out in public with these, but after a while, I realized that without them, I wouldn't be able to play soccer. They're just part of who I am now. I think of them as my superhero glasses. When I put them on, I can probably see better than anyone on the field. For the first time all day, a great big smile ran across Zoe's face. Come on, let's get out of here. We have somewhere special to show you. Look around, Zoe. Everyone is different, but that's what makes us all special. And anyway, who wants to be ordinary when you can be extraordinary? Can ordinary people do this? Can ordinary people do that? I know you're worried about fitting in, but we really want you on the team, Zoe. I was just like you when I first wore my protective glasses. I was so worried that everyone was going to think I was different. So I took them off to fit in, to be ordinary, just like everyone else. 
but I couldn't see well on the soccer field, and I struggled. Once I accepted myself, I put my glasses back on, and I made the team. But you're not ordinary, Zoe. Your dedication to practicing soccer and your hearing aids are what make you extraordinary. Quick game? Zoe practiced every day and night that week. Soccer tryouts were held on the big field, and Zoe made the team with ease. In a few weeks, the season began. Zoe had a new confidence she never expected. On the field, she wore her hearing aids, and Myla wore her protective glasses. Together, the duo was unstoppable. Their team made the playoffs and made it all the way to the championship game. I am extraordinary. Zoe, Zoe, Zoe. Look, it's Stephen Curry. Wow, what an inspirational story, Zoe. There will always be obstacles in life, but those obstacles aren't there to stop you. They're to challenge you. It's up to you to find the courage and strength to overcome them. So what makes you extraordinary? I've got one more challenge for you. Go back through this book to find the hidden extraordinary items on my list. Mirror, golf club, hair lift comb, blue and yellow backpack, four-leaf clovers, butterfly, the number 30, unicorn. To all the kids who feel underrated, you are extraordinary. The end. I loved this book. It was just so special to me. Anyway, to find out about other fabulous books, please subscribe. This is The Reading Den with Shen. I'll see you all soon again. Bye, everyone. Bye.